Hey, this is Doomtree. And you're watching our hip spotlight. Yeah, we're, you know, a collective of friends and musicians that have been doing this together for a long time. And, you know, nothing scary about that. It's pretty welcoming. There's like, there's eight, seven different people. Seven, eight, nine, ten, seventy-eight, nine people. I, we can never tell how many there are, so it's like, you know, it's undefined as of right now. Actually, in hip-hop, you know, it's the hip-hop, like, the, for the underground market anyway, Minneapolis really is a hub. It's the home of the... The largest underground label for hip hop, which is Rhyme Sayers, and we've got a lot of friends there. We've got a lot of friends in other cliques, but I'd say one out of every four and a half people per capita is an MC or a DJ in Minneapolis. It's a pretty vibrant scene for independent music. Um, the scary parts are our live show, I guess. We we're pretty energetic and have like the, I I would say the energy of a band. A lot of a lot of hip a lot of hip hop acts do. There was a lot of effort that went into it and not a lot of time. So this was like the fastest record that we've ever made. It's the most collaborative record that we've ever made. It's called No Kings. It came out um, at the very end of 2011. And we've never toured anything as hard as we have this one, man. I think this is absolutely the best collaborative project we've done to date. It's 12 of the best songs that we know how to make. And they sound different than anything we've done before. And I think they sound different than a lot of what's out there. So check it out. Before the concept of karaoke was the concept of Harmar Superstar. That was it. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, he's, he's the homie and we just love him and thought it would be amazing to have him in a, in a song. I mean, no, I mean, they had a loose concept, you know, like Isaac told us what was going on, but we just, it was one of those things that the bolt cutter video and the bang ring video were filmed about in the same week while we we're out in New York for CMJs with our friend Isaac Gale. And it was a type of thing where we just hung out and we didn't even, I didn't even know we were filming a video after a while. Like, we had gotten drunk and just started dancing in front of a green screen and like, those things just kind of developed. I think it was the same way with the bow cutter video. Just like having fun. Caught us having fun. I think that depends on what day you ask that question, but right now I'm having a blast. We've been having a, having a good time, so. That's my answer. Let's say like day three, I love it. And then like day 39 in a row, I loathe it. And then I was off for like four days. And I was like, I got to get back out there again. I love all the people that I'm with. I get a chance to like hang out with my best friends and play music for a whole bunch of people that clap at us every night. It's ridiculous. It's amazing. Uh, I, I've done my best to try to divorce my confidence from fan response because eventually they're not going to be around and I'll still be here. <laughs> but yeah, it does feel good, I think, to have full rooms as we go and to have people who know the lyrics and city by city who really believe in what we're doing. It's been a slow build, but it's been organic and we've kept everything that we've made, you know? We've been able to reinvest that into the music and into what we're doing, so it's felt good. Stay tuned to Doomtree.net and uh, follow us on Twitter and whatnot, and we'll keep you updated. And uh, Dessa and I knocked it out of the park. <laughs>